Hello and welcome to F1 Livery Histories, the channel where we take a look back at the different paint jobs, racing trims and sponsor decals adopted by respective Formula 1 teams throughout the eras. Today we'll be taking a look at a team that enjoyed a brief yet prosperous run in Formula 1 and laid the groundwork for the emergence of one of Formula 1's most closely associated engine manufacturers as a fully fledged works team, Stewart Grand Prix. The team was originally founded by Paul Stewart, son of three-time world champion Jackie as Paul Stewart Racing in 1989. Much like his father, Paul Stewart was a racing driver at heart, and initially competed in the British Formula 3 Championship racing the very cars which bore his name. The following year the team shifted its base of operations to Milton Keynes, and over the course of the next six years would enjoy tremendous success in various junior categories, such as Formula Vauxhall Lotus, Formula 3 and Formula 3000. The team entered negotiations with the Ford Motor Company in the fall of 1995, brokering a deal which would see Stewart Racing transformed into Ford's official factory F1 concern. The announcement was made in January of 1996 that the team, managed by Paul and Jackie Stewart, was set to compete in Formula 1 from the beginning of 1997, operating out of their established base of Milton Keynes. So begins our retrospective on the racing liveries on a team that remains forever young, Stewart Grand Prix. Upon its unveiling, the most prevalent fact made clear to the Formula 1 world was that this new team was a blend of the prestige and command of the Ford Motor Company and the rich Scottish heritage of the Stewart Racing Team. This unification was best epitomised in the livery of the team's first car, which married Ford's colours of blue and white with a Scottish tartan motif, appearing in the form of a thin ribbon wandering freely across the car. The team was not short of investors. Along with Ford, the team also received backing from their title sponsor, multinational banking corporation HSBC, and the Malaysian government, which secured space on the car's wings in an effort to attract tourism to their homeland. Japanese electronics company Sanyo also joined the team for its maiden season, appearing on the barge boards, along with the technical partners, Bridgestone and Texaco. With the Formula 1 grid having shrunk in size over the past few seasons, Stewart's accomplished debut season after building their own car from scratch was viewed as a welcome boost for the ever-evolving sport. The livery of the SFO2 was a continuation of Stewart's distinctly Scottish identity, and remained relatively untouched, albeit with the addition of MCI, Lear and Hewlett Packard to the list of Stewart GP team sponsors. However, the car was late in production, and therefore didn't aggregate enough test mileage to become a frontrunner during season 1998. For the team's final and most successful season in Formula 1, the car's tartan design was restyled to now resemble a tartan flag, fluttering in the breeze. The driver's numbers were now painted in fluorescent green and red on the bodywork of the SF3, the very car which procured Stewart its first and only win in Formula 1 when Johnny Herbert first crossed the line at the event-filled European Grand Prix held at the Nürburgring. Herbert was joined by Rubens Barrichello on the rostrum, whose third place in Germany was his fourth podium overall behind the wheel of a Stewart. It was during this juncture of the 1999 season when Ford announced they'd purchased the Stewart team and was set to enter F1 as a constructor for the first time in its history, beginning from the 2000 season as Jaguar Racing, based in Stewart's old facilities at Milton Keynes. Along with Renault and Toyota, who would also join the Formula 1 grid as constructors shortly thereafter, Jaguar's entry into Formula 1 marked the emergence of the works teams, whilst the heyday of smaller independent teams was now coming to a close. And so it was with these turn of events that Stuart Grand Prix bid farewell to the Formula 1 circus, having left a truly indelible mark on the sport.